Phoenix police are investigating a deadly crash tonight. A six month old is dead and now we have new information that shows one of the drivers involved in this ran a red light. This comes after a series of similar crashes this week. It is a problem all too common here in Arizona. In fact, our state leads the nation in crashes by drivers running red lights. Patrick Hayes has more on this crash and what investigators are saying. Phoenix police tell us the driver was heading southbound on 7th Street when they ran a red light here at Buckeye, crashed into another truck and caused the accident. Now the investigation is still underway, but police do tell us that the driver did not appear to be impaired. The Phoenix Police Department says a Ford pickup truck ran a red light and hit a GMC truck. Several people in the GMC truck were injured, including two children, a three-year-old and a six-month-old. The six-month-old, Ivory Gerald, did not survive. And a truck driver had pulled up around and honked its horn and noticed that there was a baby laying on the floor, maybe six months old at most. The driver of the Ford remained on the scene while the driver of the GMC truck and two adult passengers were taken to a nearby hospital with life-threatening injuries. A witness says she stopped to give the baby first aid. And she was breathing slightly, but breathing. So me and another person picked her up off the ground and moved her over to the side of the road. And then she, I put some gauze on her forehead after I moved out and she stopped breathing in my arm. So I immediately had to start CPR. Just another disappointment that keeps happening. Barbara Hoffman lost her son to a red light runner in 2004. She wants to see stricter penalties for people who get caught running red lights, especially if they result in a serious injury or death. She thinks this crash could have been prevented. Not everybody will change with a, with a ticket, but many people will. In Phoenix, Patrick Hayes, ABC 15, Arizona. And there is another factor in this that we need to highlight. The child involved in this crash who passed away, we're told, was not in a car seat. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration encouraging all parents to use them. Crashes are a leading cause of death among children, and car seats have been found to reduce the risk by 54%.